Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making these tiny turtle cupcakes. And if you're interested in more small batch recipes like the one you see here, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Okay guys, so for these cupcakes you're going to need a little sugar, an egg and some vanilla extract, some salt, baking powder and baking soda, some oil, hot water, milk, all-purpose flour, and a little espresso and cocoa powder. So the first thing that I like to do is pour my hot water into a measuring cup along with my cocoa and espresso powder. This actually helps to enhance the chocolate flavor in your cupcakes. And I'm just gonna give this a little mix. And I'm gonna set that to the side. And in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add in all of my all-purpose flour, my sugar, and my salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And I'm just gonna give that a little whisk. And now that all my wet ingredients are nice and cool, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my vanilla extract, my oil, my milk, and an egg. I'm gonna whisk this up again with my fork. And then I'm gonna head back to my dry ingredients with a nice spatula. I am going to put a little cavity right in the middle. And then I'm gonna pour all of my wet ingredients right inside. Then with the whisk, I am just gonna whisk this together nice and carefully, just until I don't see any more flour bits. And using a cookie scoop today, I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of this batter right into each one of my teeny tiny liners. This is gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. And while these are baking up, let's get started on our frosting. So for this frosting, you're gonna need some butter, some powdered sugar, cream cheese, caramel sauce, and a little vanilla extract, and I'm also using chopped pecans and homemade caramel and chocolate sauce. Now you can use store-bought, but if you'd like to learn how to make your own, I'll leave information below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by adding all of my butter into my stand mixer, along with my cream cheese, and I'm gonna mix these two together on like medium-high speed for a few minutes until it is nice and light and fluffy and almost white in color. I'm gonna give my bowl a generous scrape down just to make sure everything got mixed in well. And then I'm gonna get ready to start adding in my powdered sugar. Now I like to do this one third at a time. And guys, when you mix in your sugar, please start your mixer on low first so we can avoid little issues like this right here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and finish this frosting. And now that I'm at my last addition, I'm gonna just give this a teeny stir. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my vanilla extract and my absolutely delicious homemade caramel sauce. Now cream cheese frosting in itself can be a little soft. So with the addition of this caramel, it does soften it up a bit more. I didn't find that to be a problem. I just whipped it a little longer, but I thought you guys might wanna know ahead of time. And now that everything is ready, we can go ahead and start decorating these cupcakes. I am using a large round tip today and I'm just giving this a little burst of pressure. And then I'm gonna do sort of a hot cross buns look with my chocolate sauce right on top. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with my caramel sauce, just a cute little hot cross bun decoration. I'm gonna to top these with some crushed pecans. And as a little topper, I'm gonna to add an even bigger one right in the center. And that's it guys, these cupcakes are the perfect amount of cake, they're the perfect amount of frosting, and they are delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.